Hello everybody, we're doing glutes and abs, quick and effective. Let's start on our backs. Neutral pelvis, neutral spine, the feet in a hip width apart. Lengthen through your neck, widen your shoulders, let the shoulder blades drop into the mat. And then just take a couple of breaths. And as you exhale, establish a connection between your navel and your spine. Breathing into your ribs, opening sideways, exhaling, closing the rib cage, navel pulling into your spine, pelvic floor lifting up into your abdomen. This is all happening in the neutral spine, so the breath doesn't affect the position of the spine. So you're just lying here, breathing, not moving away from that neutral spine position. And then take your arms up on an inhale and exhale, circle around, chin to chest, and just crunch up. Inhale. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. And drawing your abdominal wall inwards and sliding the rib cage down. And we're gonna go the other way. And exhale, pressing the air down. Feel your feet grounded, knees up to the ceiling. Last one here. And then hold it up. And bring the palms together, go through between your legs and outside your legs, in between your legs, outside your legs and pulse and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Just turn your head right and left to release the tension in your neck. And then come back to the center, inhale, and exhale, roll up into a bridge, all the way up, inhale at the top, and exhale, rolling down. Inhale. Exhale, slowly coming up, peeling off each vertebra into a flat line between knees and shoulders. And now stretch the right leg up to the ceiling. Cross it over into figure four. Tap down with your sacrum. Push up and leg up straight down and up. Figure four, tap, up, ceiling, straight. Ceiling, figure four, tap, up, ceiling, straight. Keep going. Keeping the pelvic crests on the same level. Navel is pulling into your spine. Keep breathing into your rib cage, keeping the abs tight. Exhale. 
and we've got one more to go. So this is all glutes on the left side and then bring that foot down. We're going to go straight into the other side, leg up, figure four, tap, up, leg up, straight. Now we're working into the right buttock, standing side, also getting a stretch in the back of the leg, on the moving leg. Keep your abs engaged and tight, pelvic floor engaged. Try to relax the arms, the shoulders, lengthen through your neck. Last two. Last one. And put your foot down, inhale. Exhale, rolling down your spine all the way down on the mat. And then just pull your knees into your chest. And go into a tabletop. Heels together, toes out. Inhale here. And exhale, dropping down with those legs. Coming back up. And then push forward and bend back in. Dropping down in an angle. Coming back up. Push forward and bend into your frog. Dropping down so you go as far as you can hold on to the abs, keeping the stability in the spine. Push, squeeze your inner thighs and navel in, keeping the pressure, the weight on the sacrum all the way through. And we'll have one more down. And then hold the frog and just bring the knees together. Open, knees together and open. Now bring the knee slightly further forward for some more work in the abs, pulling the pelvic crests together. Lots of transverse here. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then pull your knees into your chest. And rock, and rock, and start rocking a little more. And this is gonna bring you all the way up into seated. And we're gonna go into a side plank situation on the right elbow. We're gonna have the toes together here for this type of clam. And we're gonna lift the pelvis up. So we'll reach the top arm up to the ceiling. We're gonna open here and then lift the whole leg. Just the toes staying together and lift. Clam, lift the whole top leg and clam and lift. Making sure your head is aligned, shoulder happy, 
Shoulder blades are far apart. Make sure your abs are still tight and pulled in. And feel both butt cheeks working, the bottom side as well as the top side. And one more of each. And then lie down here. And bring the leg forward. Now lift it here and we're gonna just push it back and come forward again and lift, push it back and lift and push it back. Articulating through, toes stretching back. And by now you should feel that in the top side glutes. And we'll have two more. Keeping the ribs together. One more. And then just grab the foot, pull the bottom knee up a little more just for stability in the pelvis and then just get yourself a nice stretch here. And then release it. Coming up, taking a side bend, and then bring the legs all the way over to the other side. On your left elbow, toes together here, arm up, reaching all the way, shoulder blades apart, head aligned, and then lift your pelvis, and we'll have the clam and we'll have the top leg lifting and the clam and lift. Keep the pelvis stable here. Don't let it rotate as the leg rotates. Feel into those butt cheeks, external rotators. We'll have three more. And two. And one. And then release down. Line down all the way. Top leg forward. And then we'll have that lift. And then push it all the way back. Coming forward again. Lift. Try to keep the stability in the pelvis. your abs working and your pelvic floor, shoulders stacked. We'll have two more. And then release, holding on to the foot, taking your stretch, pulling that knee up. And release the foot, coming up into a side bend. And release. We're going to go on to all fours. Tucking your toes under. Finding your neutral position here. I'm going to work abs here. Let me tuck this in a little better so you can see more. And 
and hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, lifting the knees off, hovering here. And we're gonna tap one knee and the other knee. And tap, and tap. And tap knee, and tap. Needle in, pelvic floor in. Ribs closing, shoulders are wide, neck is long. Right tap, left tap. Now switch perspective and pull up and up. Pull one knee up, pull the other knee up. Working your back, rotators, working the obliques, transverse, Close the ribs, connect them down to the pelvis. And four, three, two, and one. And then release down into a child pose. Back onto all fours, reaching the right leg out. And now just lift and circle halfway out to the right and bring it back here. And circle out to the right, bring it back. Articulating nicely from your hip joints, keeping the rest of the body stable. Lengthen through your neck here. We'll have four more, keeping the standing side nice and stable, shoulders square, two more, one more, bring that leg back straight to the other side, reach it out, lift it up and over and tap out and down and tap. Elbows are micro bent. Pelvis stays stable in the center, nice and square. Keep refreshing the shoulders, keep refreshing the ribs, navel pulling in, four more, and three, two, and one, and then release. And we're just gonna tuck the toes under, lift the knees, Pull those abs in and pulse, 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 abs in, 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 keeping the abdominal wall tight. Working the shoulders here too. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. And release down on the elbows. And bring the right leg up in a right angle in the knee. We're gonna push up and we're gonna circle. And we're gonna push up 
and circle and up and circle keep the rest of the body stable this is more glutes now and hamstrings abs are ready one more and we're gonna switch to the other side stepping right in up down circle and up down circle keep the shoulders alive shoulder blades wide strong on the standing side navel pulled in ribs closing and three two and one and release and then sit back reaching the arms forward rolling up and hold on behind your back open the shoulders and we're gonna sit have the legs in front of us inhale here and then exhale halfway down and just hold it here inhale and then exhale one arm circling all the way coming back inhale exhale inhale Use the circles to get into all the fibers of your abs, of your obliques, rectus abdominis, transverse. Deepen inwards. One more time on the right. One more time on the left. And we're gonna circle both arms The other way now. Keep breathing, keep feeling your feet heavy in the mat. Four more. And two more. And the last one. Bring you all the way up. Soles of the feet together and then release down. <sighs> Take a deep breath and then come back up. Inhale and then exhale, rolling down all the way taking the arms in a big circle and roll up, maybe holding on, maybe only going halfway if this is not yours. 
and go down, circle. And one more this way. And now the other way. Going back, arms overhead, circling around. Nice gut mobilization. Drawing the abdominal wall in. Just gonna give your guts a nice massage, a drainage. And then two more. And I go into a cross-legged, the knees fairly close together. And we're just gonna lean over the legs. Give your back a break, but also give your glutes a stretch. And then come back up and switch your legs. Other leg forward. And reach. And then come up and just sit up tall. Take a deep breath, opening the shoulders, feeling the sit bones pressing down, feeling the stability of your core, your pelvic floor lifting from underneath. And then take the arms up, inhale. And bringing in all the good things you need, bringing them into your body, into your heart. Well done. Thank you.